Hello everyone and welcome to Biology Quick Comparisons. In this playlist, we compare topic A with topic B which are kind of similar but very confusing. So today's topic is antigen versus super antigen. Now well, super antigens are not like superman, they are something different. So let's understand what are antigens and super antigens. Antigens are substances which can bind specifically to T cell receptor or B cell receptors, that means antibody. So these are called antigens. Now notice here, here is an antigen presenting cell, which is a dendritic cell or a macrophage, is presenting the antigen, which is derived from a pathogen maybe, or from an external source, to the T cell receptor. And this interaction is very specific. As a result of this interaction, the T cell generates several responses against this bacteria. And the nature of this response is highly specific. And this is kind of part of the adaptive immune response, whose hallmark feature is the specificity. Now, super antigen differs from normal antigen in the feature that it binds laterally to the MHC's groove. So in case of normal antigen, it, it, is it is bound to the MHC's peptide binding groove and thus displayed to the T cell receptor. Whereas these super antigens binds to the MHC and TCR in a lateral fashion. Now this results in the activation of T cell in a non-specific manner. So here you can see due to a specific antigen, there is a specific set of T cells which would be activated. But here, due to this super antigen, kind of many subset of T cells are activated at once in a non-specific fashion. And just to give you the number, approximately 25% of the T cells in our body is activated once there is a T super antigen mediated activation. That's huge, right? And these T cells are mostly non-specific, which creates a huge inflammatory response in the immune system. Well, we understand this part, but what is bad about it and how it is beneficial for these antigens and who produce these antigens? Let's know about that. So whenever these kind of situation happens, these Activated T cell can secrete so many cytokines that activates macrophages, dendritic cell and many other immune cells such as NK cells and neutrophils. Overall, there is a huge inflammatory response by the inflammatory cytokines secreted by activated macrophages and dendritic cell. And this inflammation creates a chaos, a huge chaos in the immune system. So imagine this particular T cell is like a policeman who wants to capture a thief. Now once this policeman is capturing the thief, this interaction is very specific. But think about this thing. When this policeman is non-specific and is able to catch many thief, the thief of interest here is kind of camouflaging. So it's beneficial for the thief, but it's confusing for the policeman that whom to catch. So this is the strategy that is taken by these super antigens produced by several pathogens. Overall, it generates huge chaos in the immune system, which is advantageous for the pathogen, not for the body. In fact, it is super harmful for the body because uncontrolled inflammation can give rise to symptoms like, like septic shock. So overall, what we learn is like super antigen activates our immune system in a non-specific manner. Now you must be thinking that activation of immune system is good for eliminating pathogen. Indeed, but here due to super antigen mediated activation, the specificity component is lost in the adaptive immune response. And that's bad for the body because instead of eliminating the pathogen, it increases the chance of harming the own body. As if there is an error in the detection and specificity system, of the immune, ce immune cells. So many uh, bacteria such, such as Staphylococcus aureus, they secrete staphylococcal enterotoxin, which are actually example of 
super antigens and it creates chaos in this system. So I hope you understand what is super antigen, how they are different from a normal antigen and how it can create a huge chaos in the immune system and thereby increasing the survival probability of these uh, pathogens. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and you can support me on Patreon. By the way, my courses are also present in Unacademy. So using my code EPI10, you can get 10% discount. And do let me know in the comment how you are liking the videos of this particular playlist and please post your suggestions. Thank you.